DK Suresh is a Lok Sabha MP from the Congress Party from Karnataka. He is the brother of Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, DK Shivakumar, the lesser known of the two brothers. But here he is making headlines for a very familiar reason, this election season viewer. And that is for a comment he made in anger when he says that if the North treats the South in this manner, then the South will have to think about becoming a separate country. He was speaking with a great deal of political anger about funds from the central government that are given to southern states. This has been a point of contention for a very long time. It's been a point of politics and has been a flashpoint and a friction area in federal relations between the central government and southern states across different dispensations for decades together. But... D.K. Suresh's comment threatening a separate nation cannot simply be dismissed as political anger now because it comes in the wake of repeated, repeated taunts and pokes and gestures and comments specifically from the Congress party and its allies that seem to amplify the north-south divide. It was none other than Rahul Gandhi himself who began this, who triggered this entire north-south politics a few years ago during the Kerala election campaign, when he said he finds South politics more refreshing compared to the North. That had triggered a huge conversation. After the Congress was practically obliterated in the heartland states late last year in Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh, winning handsomely in Telangana, various Congress leaders talked about how it is the South. Karthi Chidambaram and others had even gone onto social media to praise the South. The assumption and the projection was the South has protected the Congress and democracy while the North has not. All of this once again remained in the realm of politics except that the Congress was not able to explain away or troubleshoot a virulent comment made by D.K. Suresh's own ally and colleague from the DMK in the Lok Sabha a few days later when he talked about how the Gaumutra states had voted for the BJP, basically contemptuously dismissing the politics of one entire half of the country. It is in the wake of this poisonous separatist politics, even though it is not rooted in real separatism, but this political anger, one cannot ignore what D.K. Suresh has said, because it seems now that the Congress party, after evaporating practically in the entire northern part of the country, save for a couple of places here and there, including Himachal Pradesh, the Congress party appears to have given up on the Hindi heartland. And D.K. Suresh's comment, far less about political anger, far less about a heat of the moment comment, but probably a pattern of trying to create a narrative of North versus South, which will be very, very important and very significant going into the current election. Remember, the Congress, which was reduced to its historic lowest in the 2014 election, managed to only climb up a little bit to a little over 50 seats in the 2019 election, but now is looking to consolidate and rise above that dismal figure. And it sees the South as its main vote bank. It sees the South from where, especially in, 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 in Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, as the places where it will get most of its Lok Sabha seats. Is that what this is about? Is that what this cynical politics is about? Is that what this irresponsible, threatening separatism is really about? Or is it about political anger? That we will leave to voters and viewers to decide. But the politics has echoed and resonated in Parliament as well, leading to angry scenes from Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, who is, of course, from the South. Malikarjun Kharge has also, from the South, forced to get into troubleshoot mode. This is the latest controversy triggered by the Congress Party on the North-South issue. Take a look. Talking about... Dividing this country, sitting member of the house. This country is thinking about the country. The country is thinking about the country.